Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Elijah here and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Flirt State. This video was suggested by my boy B-Dog, that's his Instagram handle, thank you for the idea. And I thought it would be an interesting video idea, you know, it's a little bit different but I thought, you know what, I feel like this is going to be very helpful and very, very, um, like, valuable for a lot of you guys. But with all that waffling out of the way, let's get straight into it. Basically, right guys, I'm going to break this video down into two parts, right? The first part is going to be for like, you know, my everyday people, you know, everyday activities, this, that, and the third, right? And then my second, the second part of the video is going to be for my athletes. It's possible that you watching this video have experienced flow state. Which is a state of complete absorption and intense focus on something that goes beyond the point of distraction. It is the feeling of fluidity between your body and mind. Time almost feels slow. Senses are heightened and you are one with the task at hand. This is the flow state and it's accessible to everyone. Whether you're engaged in a physical activity, a creative pursuit or even a simple day-to-day -day task. It is almost like our way of entering into the avatar state. When you're given your fullest attention to an activity, when you're all tasks that you're extremely passionate about, you may find yourself creating conditions necessary to experience a flow state of mind. Feelings that would consume you under normal circumstances like being hungry or tired melt away and all that matters is your craft. It's while flow state is achieved by the balance between skill and challenge, deep work focuses on helping you achieve something complicated. According to Mahali Chisek Mahali, if I butchered that, allow me to. Our factors, there are eight key factors that contribute to the flow state. The number one is clarity of goals and immediate feedback. Two is intense focus concentration on a specific task. Number three is balance between skill and challenge. Number four is sense of personal control and agency over the task. Number five is loss of reflective self-consciousness. Number six is time distortion or altered sense of time. So, number seven is consolidation of action and awareness to telic experience. Now it takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes of focused attention to reach flow state. Once in flow, it may last from 30 minutes to a couple of hours. Possible to achieve flow more than once a day given the right conditions. Like I said before, it is important that the task at hand has the perfect balance between skill and difficulty. This is called the challenge skill balance. When the task at hand is too easy, our brain lacks the stimulation it needs to release the neurotransmitters associated with the flow state another key element of flow state is having clear goals and when you know what you need to accomplish it is easier to get into the flow let's use a chess game for example during the duration of a competition the player has very specific goals and responses allowing attention to be focused entirely on the game during the period of play and a third key element of flow state is eliminating distractions and for me this is probably the most important one so flow follows focus and if you have distractions all around you right you cannot enter a flow state of mind once you're on flow state right your brain will naturally filter out distractions as you continue to focus on the work you're doing while you're getting into the flow of things right a lot of distractions can come about distracting you from achieving the mental clarity you need for flow state make sure that whatever task that you got going on at hand right make sure you put your phone on silent mode which leads me to my next topic and you could argue this still means to cut all distractions or basically right make sure that you're not trying to multitask your brain can only focus on one thing at a time. When you multitask, you're doing two things at once, which puts a large conjunctive load on your brain. Which Right. I was reading a lot, right? And you know, like when you're in the flow state anyway, a lot of athletes feel like they're operating on like a higher frequency. I'ma quickly play a clip of my glorious King LeBron James talking about his game six against Boston. I was about to say we call that being in the zone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You wish you can tap into that shit more often. Mm -mm -mm. You just when it happens, you have no idea what the mm -mm. fuck's going on. And you find new stuff. Yeah, you you like, new shit. You're just trying shit that you never even tried before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like silly shit. That game I had in Boston, game six. Down 3-2, it got to a point where I was just out there trying shit, one leg off the wrong foot, <laughs> bump fades off, off my right shoulder. I am not even a right shoulder bump fade guy. When do you know you're in the zone while you're in it? Like, at what point? I was on Red the Right and they were talking about this game, yeah? And they said it was almost like seeing someone grab a hold of their demons, putting a beating on them. And this is the game where we got this iconic meme. To perform in the zone isn't something you can fully control. But the very definition of flow 
keeps you from being able to control it. So your aim should be to influence it, meaning meaning you are doing all that you can to put yourself in the, in the best position to flow. To achieve flow more often, you must learn how to control your focus. You have to learn to develop the skill of keeping your awareness centered in the present moment. To do this, there are exercises you can use to strengthen this ability known as mindfulness. Similar to flow, mindfulness is defined by, by having your attention completely centered in the present moment. The better you are at centering your focus, the, the greater your chances are of experiencing flow. Now, a good way of training mindfulness, right, is by number one, is sit in a chair on the ground with your back straight. Number two, is set yourself a timer for five minutes. Close your eyes and begin to take some deep breaths. Pay attention to your breath going in and out and as soon as you become distracted, gently return your attention to your breath. Oh, so don't be thinking about what you're going to be having for dinner later on. And initially, you may not be great at this, and but try to commit to five minutes training to train in mindfulness. The better you are at holding that mindful state, the, the higher your chances are of getting into flow and also right good soft talk goes a long way and this is not just for my athletes but everyone in general right let's say for example you watching this video right i don't know you get like five rebounds right you can tell yourself ah right, cool i just got five rebounds let me go try go for like five assists you get what i'm trying to say and let's say for my people who go to the gym right let's say you just benched 100 kg all right, cool. Since I've already benched 100 kg, let me try to go for 102.5 kg. You get what I'm trying to say, fam? That positive self talk can go a really, really long way. So, did that. So, don't forget that too. But anyway, guys, I really hope this video was of some value to you and you can apply flow state to all areas of your life, like gym, you know, the sport that you play gambling this that and the third. You get what I'm trying to say? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe here. Yeah? And I'll catch you guys in the next one.